Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back with the Femorember Day 3. And the prompts are Bright Color and Journaling Card. So I got these index cards. I'm going to make two again today. This for me is a very bright color that I probably never will use. They were in the same package, so I'm going to make both. Um, they are a little bit big to make it a horizontal uh, journey card, even though the lines go horizontal. So I'm going to make them um, vertical and then they will go into a pocket like this and you can still write this way. So that's what I'm thinking. So the animal for today is a penguin and I found the world... Uh, the World of Birds. This book is from, where's the copyright? 1975. So I have, where's the penguin? I found this penguin in here. I was thinking, where will I find a penguin image that's big enough? And this one is, so I'm going to use this one. And then I looked through the book, and to spare you, it's a beautiful book. If you find this book, it has photos as well as um, illustrations in it. And really, like these are so perfect for fussy cutting, and it's the images are a little bit bigger um, than. You know, a lot of those field guides has the really, really small birds in it, which I also like. The other image that I thought I'll use is this one, because I needed something to go with the bright colors. Um, yes, so I found this book, I don't know, about a month ago. I don't have a lot of bird books. I've been trying to focus on finding some, so... Um, I was very happy to find this one. I'm not going to go crazy with uh, decorating this. Um, I am purposefully covering most of this bright color because I think I'll have a tough time using it in a journal because it's not really color that I like but the prompt says bright colors and this is how bright I can go I'm just gonna tear this down a little smaller and because I really like the images I am not going to do a lot it's probably going to be a very quick video today I think I'm not going to tear that off because there's not a lot of room there to tear off. And then the penguin. I am going to keep it on the background. I did consider fussy cutting it, but I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Keep it simple. And with the penguin, I am happy that it's... You know, the blue is going to show because I do like the blue index card. Okay, so there is my two images smaller. And maybe let's start with the penguin because I think that would be the faster of the two. Um, I don't know exactly how on my table how I'm going to decorate it but I'm going to start by gluing it onto the background and then go from there. My table is still covered in coffee from yesterday. Okay. And I just need to glue it on straight or maybe I didn't tear it straight, who knows.
forgot to close my art little glue yesterday. Oh, I could do that so many times. So today might be a problematic. Oh no, it's it's coming out perfectly. Thank goodness. Just want to glue this corner down. Maybe this one too. It is a semi-gloss paper and I find sometimes the glue sticks do not want to work so well with the semi-gloss or glossy papers. Okay, so now we need to decorate it and I have some scrap papers here and all I want to do is maybe um, I was thinking adding a ruffle on the bottom. I know <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. But I do like the look of it. Okay, maybe that. And I grabbed some just some scrap papers. These are one some of my painted papers that might go with that. Um, I might use that. This is a piece of um, paper that I waxed. I don't think this one will work. Maybe a little bit of pink in there might be nice. This is when my printer was acting up, but I did. I thought that might work. There's more pink than this. So let's see. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. So let's see. I just want to kind of make a little cluster here. And um see how that looks. Maybe I need more of a square in the background. And this is just papers from my children's notes from university that I avocado dyed. Maybe I'll get rid of a teeny tiny bit more. I just want to make a little cluster. been going crazy with waxing papers and stamps I know it's it just gives everything such a great look okay, so maybe we'll go with that and now I kind of need a, a focal point of some sorts there and Hmm, <laughs> should I go for my stamps again? I love, love, love these stamps. I don't know, for me it just adds a little something. I do like that. And let's see, I have this washi or should I add some lace in here as well yes let's do that okay so I'm gonna start gluing down I probably could just use some um, glue stick it's just this is a little easier It's another cold day here. It is, I probably shouldn't be complaining, but it's just, yeah, as we've been used to really great weather each year and 
I don't know, this year it just, you know, you get spoiled. You get used to not feeling cold and suddenly, because we used to live in a province where it was really, really cold every winter and it was a long winter and then we moved here. So now we're just spoiled with the weather. So I'm complaining about minus three and minus nine when we used to, that was the warmer days, kind of, where we used, to, when we, where we lived before. <laughs> anyway, that's what happens. You get spoiled. Do not put the stamp upside down. Okay, so there, and I was thinking of maybe adding some buttons, but no, I don't like the buttons. So just a small little cluster, and that would take care of my bright color um, and journaling card. But I'm just wondering, what can I, I feel like I need to add something. Should I add, let's cut a piece of this off. It's a, um, like a Swiss dot, but it has a very small little dot on there. And I'm thinking, I'm going to do that, but maybe I'll do some splatters on here again um i just it just needs a little something let's see and i'm just again using the van gogh and it is what what is the color deep gold and I saw this on Barbara's channel she had this she uses it a lot and I just want a couple of bigger <laughs> splatters on here maybe some but not on my the face I should have hooked Sorry, covered this, but let's just take it off. It's still wet. Okay. So I'm going to, oh, I can add the Swiss dots on here. I have my glue gun, and what if I do with the. Oh, wow, there. <laughs> It's kind of see-through. It was lying on my table. Okay. And this is nice. I mean, just regular netting will give you the same effect. It doesn't add a lot of bulk to your pages but it gives it texture. If it doesn't stick to your fingers. Okay. okay. I'm still wondering if I should add a little button, don't ask me why, it just feels, but the buttons always add so much bulk. Maybe when I put it in a book, I'll add, or a journal, I'll add um, an eyelet with a little dangle or something. I think for now, I am... Um, I don't know why, it just feels it needs a little something more. Mm, maybe a gold edge. <laughs> Let's put the buttons away. And 
now I just have to be careful and not touch my splatters because that's probably what I'll do next. So yeah, it's been since yesterday. Not a lot has happened here. I am afraid. Oh, we went to watch a concert last night. I had to we watched um, the like a Christmas concert of the Bare Naked Ladies, and I have to be honest, I knew two songs of the Bare Naked Ladies, and they are a band from Toronto, Canada. So, uh, which I didn't know either. I just assumed they were from um, America. Anyway, so we were very surprised. They totally blew our minds. They have, they wrote the theme song for, uh, not Third Rock from the Sun. Anyway, I will, it will come to me in a minute. But they have, were just amazing. They had so much energy and they were funny and entertaining. It was just, like I said, we were, we didn't expect much, but we came out of there and thought, wow, that was totally worth getting out in the cold and going to the concert. Because <laughs> I have to tell you, at some point I was thinking, mm, maybe we should just stay home. <laughs> it's just easier. So I want to make a collage and then add this on the collage but I do want some of the blue to show. I have this paper it is in my shop by now I think it's the um, blue paint and coffee lace dyed papers. I just want to do a bit of a collage in the background but still have some of the blue showing and do I want to add green no maybe I won't add green I'm not sure about that one let's stick with just blues pages yes so we came home and we actually what we should have done before the concert probably we started just came home and just listened to a lot of their music and um, ended up going to bed probably like 12 30 ish because yes we were just going from one song to the other they've been together bare naked ladies for i think he said 34 years um they i don't know if everybody out there is familiar with if i had a million dollars they that that's one of the songs i knew of them um but yeah i was very surprised and Lots of fun, actually. Maybe we should be brave and go out more. Face the cold. It's not that bad. But I'm always cold, so for me it is that bad. <laughs> um, anyway. We had fun. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Oh, 
Oops, I still have stuff left from yesterday's project. And I want to just give this a bit of a more definite edge so it would stand out a little bit more from the background. I wish there was a little bit more room on by its head, but that's how it was in the book. Anyway, all good. And let's, there's still some of the papers that was in Nancy's packaging. Let's add that in the back here. And this was in the journal that I bought from Nancy from Wishes and Weeds. I am... Um, showed that she made a beautiful Beatrix Potter journal. It was a French one. The book was French. Yeah, it was... I do have a video of that. I'll try to remember to link that video in the description box. Very happy to finally be able to buy one of her journals before it sells out anyway so let's add i feel like i need a little something on top here maybe i'll stick with that and i'm going to use the art glitter glue again because for the doilies, I just find it easier than trying to glue the doily down with my glue stick. Because it ruins your glue stick. It eats it up. Okay. I need to just get rid of some of the excess glue here. Okay. Let's just, I'm thinking, let's do something on the back here because I'll be writing like this. So maybe I'll add a small cluster. I still have this paper left from yesterday as well. So let's do that. Just a little cluster here to decorate the back as well. Why not? And I'm thinking a step. Um, it doesn't have to be too elaborate, just like I said, I just want something here. And let's add some of this washi in the back. I'm gonna get rid of that straight edge here. Oh, and I'll have to put some glue stick on this washi. It's not going to stick. I can just feel it. There's some uh, dust particles already sitting on the sticky part of the washi. Okay. That is the right side up here. just add a small piece of lace why not and my stamp and that's enough because it's just to decorate the back a little bit just something small because I do think I'm gonna add some um, splatters on this one too and then don't I need to do this first before I do this splatter so let's see I'm sorry about all these shadows but it is very gloomy outside so now we need to do something more on this side I think um I have 
this is a very small piece of paper here <laughs> that also came from the piece that I just tore off. I'm wondering if I should just kind of fussy tear this bird. the bird let's just make another small cluster here um, doesn't necessarily even have to make any sense I have some of these I love these stickers they are so just the black outline you know just lined I'm just looking for a sticker that will work I'm thinking maybe something like this with the bird i like this one better but let's cut this piece off i don't like this going onto my penguin so i am just going to get rid of it okay let's see how much luck i have today with these stickers same problem with this I don't like it there so let's just get rid of what I do not like okay and now I think I need some glue stick because I've touched this sticker a couple of times on the sticky part okay so there Oh, wow. There, my little birdie. And maybe I need to just get rid of more of the white here. Okay. And I am thinking... stamp again <laughs> I know it's a stamp and maybe a word just joy okay let's do that glue stick and I am going to glue stick both Put glue on both, not glue stick both, and then just glue them at the same time. Okay. And okay. This is vintage photo. It's the oxide one. I am just going to do joy. And then I am going to add some splatters and I want some on the penguin but not too much on its body something like that okay oh dirty tissue tissue and 
do I want? I'm going to ink the edges first. I, just to give the edges some dimension as well. And I kind of wanted to just make it look like it was just kind of Something like that. Okay. Now let's do these letters. Oops. Cover the penguin's face. Okay. And I almost feel like I want to do some black splatters as well. Just to repeat the black in there, the black on his body, it, I just feel like it would give it more dimension. And this splatter brush of mine is definitely not, it's an old brush that I don't think I will use for painting anymore. It's definitely not in any condition to do that anymore but for this bladder it's, it's perfect and then i have this i bought these laces at the thrift store and i'm wondering if i should add lace or not this one no i don't like it maybe just a beige lace. I have it on the back, the same lace, so maybe I should just add a small little ruffle in there just to give it a little bit of texture. I don't know. Can't go wrong with a ruffle at this point, if you ask me. And just to give that joy just to kind of emphasize joy there as well. Okay. Good. Grab the other one and I think I'll do a little cluster on the other one too but my splatters on dry yet so I think I'll leave that and when I use it in a journal you'll my the sticker is now stuck to my table <laughs> anyway I can get rid of that afterwards thank you this is um Defemember prompt three and it's hosted by Louisa Heinzel and, and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. There's lots of other channels. I watched um, Cindy from Studio Lou this morning. Um, her first and second prompt was up already. And there's lots of other channels. I'll try to mention somebody else tomorrow. So, but thank you for watching and um, I hope you'll have a great day. Stay warm. I'm definitely going to try to stay warm and stay inside today. Anyway, thank you. I'll see you um, again soon. Bye.